In this demo, the data scientist in the middle is going to run a machine learning application using Bitfusion to access remote V100 GPUs. Our other users either do not need GPU acceleration or will run without GPUs as a comparison. To make the demo as clear as possible, our data scientist will invoke Bitfusion from the command line and allocate two virtual GPUs for the application, which runs locally. These virtual GPUs will be sized at 60% of the physical GPUs. The remaining 40% is available to others for simultaneous use. The data scientist at the bottom will run applications far more slowly. The user at the top is left to celebrate or question his decision to go into accounting. Administrators can use Bitfusion to increase GPU utilization and to make maintenance easier since they do not have to support siloed machines for individuals. Users gain access to a larger pool and greater variety of GPUs than they could purchase for their exclusive use. Sharing is invisible, automated, and dynamic. We are going to run a TensorFlow benchmark to train a ResNet 50 model to classify 1,000 dog breeds. We have a data set with pictures of all these dog breeds. The Golden Retrievers are photogenic, so we'll scroll through some of them. Let's examine our infrastructure in vCenter. We have a cluster of GPU servers. This server has two NVIDIA V100 GPUs with 32 gigabytes of memory each. On this machine runs a Bitfusion appliance to which we've passed the GPUs. Our general purpose cluster has no GPUs. This client machine is where we'll run the dog breed classification training. You can see it has no GPUs. On the client machine command line, we are in the middle of the TensorFlow training run. With no acceleration, we are processing only 0.6 images per second. This will take days to complete. So we'll kill the run and recall the command. You can see it attempts but fails to use two GPUs. It is using the ResNet 50 model and a batch size of 64 images at a time. We can take this same benchmark and prefix it with a Bitfusion run command, allocating the two GPUs it is searching for but at a size of 60%. The double dash is a separator. We've used Bitfusion from the command line, but we could have brought up a VM or container with the virtual GPUs pre-allocated. In that case, nothing additional would be needed on the command line. Now let's take a look at the Bitfusion GUI in vCenter. On the cluster tab, we can see the allocation of GPUs over time and the current allocation from each server and on each client. Our TensorFlow client has allocated the two 60% GPUs. We can change the time scale. We can look at each client individually And for each server, we can see utilization on a GPU basis, and we can see the network traffic. Back on the cluster, we'll wait for the application to finish. And we observe that the GPUs are returned to the pool. Back on the command line, we no longer process 0.6 images per second. Bitfusion virtual GPUs let us exceed 383 images per second, over 600 times faster. 